Hi, I'm Cheryl from Would Be Crafty and today we're going to be looking at brush control. So this is where you're just getting used to using a brush. We all know how to use pens and pencils, but using a brush is a little bit different. So doing these simple exercises will just make that, that little bit easy for you. First of all, we're going to use a synthetic brush. When your brush is new, they will come with a safety cap on the end. Remove it, but keep it, because these are great if you're transporting your brushes and you don't want to damage the hairs. Wet your brush to start off with, and then blot on your paper towel. Today we're going to be using acrylic paint, so we're just going to put out a little bit, because you're better to put out little bits of fresh paint than to put out a lot and it to skin over. Now to load a brush, pop your brush into the paint and press down, working towards yourself. Don't just poke it in the paint because that's only going to put paint around the edge of the brush, not through the brush. Now today we're going to be doing commas. So on this worksheet here you can see the commas. We've got left hand facing commas, right hand facing commas and straight commas. This is just good practice for brush control. Now onto your surface, I would like you to draw a circle. Make this a clock, so mark in 12 o'clock, 3, 6 and 9. Now to paint your left handed commas, place your brush down at 11 o'clock press lifting and tailing away towards seven. Again press lift and tail away towards seven. So what you're actually doing is flattening the brush which gives you a knife edge and that knife edge creates your tail. So you're combining those two parts to one. So press and lift. Press, lift, tail off. If you wish to paint smaller commas, just apply, apply less pressure. Lift. So have a practice at those and we'll also do some right hand facing commas. So again, load your brush and this time draw a circle. Mark out your clock. Angle your page, place your brush down at one o'clock, press, lift, head towards six and swing back towards five. Press, lift, tail. Press, lift, tail. Now I'm right handed, so I have all my supplies on my right side and to paint these commas I have to angle my page to make it more comfortable for me to be able to paint. So it's the same process as before, less pressure, smaller commas. Now we'll have a look at doing some straight commas. We're going to load the brush, press the brush down on the paper and lift. But as you'll see, we can't get a fine tail. So to do a straight comma, you need to press and then roll the brush slowly in between your fingers to turn it to get that fine tail. So it's press, lift and a quarter turn. So if you watch my brush, you'll see the writing on the brush is facing you. Lift, quarter turn and now it's gone. And that's how you do commas. So have a practice of those and we will do another workshop soon, so happy painting.